Hello, 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 everyone. This is your buddy, your pal, your friend, the digital dork, Johnny Fuego. And I want to welcome you to another one of the tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove a white background from an image. Now, this is very significant if you're trying to watermark a video or you want to put your logo on business cards or flyers and you don't want that background in the back you just want it to be you know your logo transparent so I'm going to show you how to uh, get rid of those white backgrounds if it's white or if it's black solid color backgrounds pretty much and I'm going to do that with this uh, open source program called GIMP it's very similar to Photoshop very very similar there are only just a little few differences but it pretty much does the same thing that Photoshop does so without further ado let's get into it alright we are here inside GIMP as you can see let me open up the image that we're gonna use and this is what we're gonna use the wedding rings clip art there we go alright here's our image and as as you can see we have it on top of a white background and I want to get rid of all the white areas I just want the rings so let's go ahead with our first step we're gonna click on this layer here we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to add layer mask we want white full opacity for the layer mask we're gonna click add okay we're gonna go back here again we're gonna right click and this time we're going to select apply layer mask okay let me move this out the way here so I can grab the next tool that I'm going to need and over here in my toolbox I want to select the fuzzy select tool it's sort of like a magic wand but they call it the fuzzy select tool alright let's make sure that we're clicked on our layer so that we're working on this layer here and we're going to take our fuzzy select tool and we're going to click on a white area now what this does is it's going to select everything that is the one solid color so since we clicked on white it's going to put a selection around all the white until there is another color border that's why it only has the white here but when you get to the gold here and there's a new border it's not selected so we have this highlighted and selected we're gonna press delete on our keyboard we're gonna come over here to another area of white and this area is selected we're gonna press delete again click inside here for another area of white press delete again and we're just gonna keep on repeating this process click all the areas that are white that are solid color press delete again right here and right here then after we get all the white out the entire black background is gone now we're gonna go to select and click none so that no area is highlighted and we have our rings with no white background now to save this image to make it uh, where you can use it for your business cards or your videos or whatever you want this image to be in you're gonna go to file and we're gonna go to export now this right here is very very important you cannot forget this step or it will come out wrong and you will not have an image on a transparent background you must save this in PNG because JPEG cannot handle transparency so you're gonna to want to scroll down where it says select file type by extension and you're gonna to want to click PNG image export click export again let the machine do its magic and there you have it we have just exported our wedding rings with a transparent background and that's all there is to it so please click the like button leave a comment if you have one make sure you hit that subscribe button this is once again your buddy your pal your friend Johnny Fuego have a wonderful day